Hi, I'm Tamar Salman. In this video, I'm going to share with you everything you need to know about MT799. You want to know why it's so important. You want to know why is it that if you don't get this one instrument right, how it can re-jeopardize your whole transaction and slow you down. It's going to cause you a lot of headaches if you don't get this right. You want to know why is the pre-advice so important and how to use this instrument to smoothen the transaction to get the business objective you're looking for for yourself quickly and securely. Hi, I'm Tamer Sam from LionCredit.ai. My organization is best in class in three categories. One is monetizing banking instruments. If that is uh, sometimes it's bank guarantees, MTNs, document materials of credit, standby letters of credit, we can also assist cl clients in accessing instruments. Our core business, line Credit, is we simply provide lines of credit to our clients and, and sometimes when we have an instrument, we can leverage that instrument to provide a line of credit to our clients. And the third thing that we are best in class is uh, in private placement programs. We assist clients with forensic background checking on the private placement companies as well as are able to provide line of credit loan uh, for the, uh, our clients who want to go into private placement programs. And if you do have an instrument that you want to monetize or leverage to go into private placement programs, we can assist you in that as well. Uh, today, I want to talk about MT799. Why is it so important? I want to talk about why is it everybody's gun ho ho on something called pre-advice. I want to get you to understand why that's important, how to do it correctly, what to look for, and to make sure that when you're doing a swift M MT799, you do it correctly. Uh, before I go on, I want to I want to ask you and invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. This allows you to access our content right away, our intellectual property, our insights once it comes out for you to see, get a notification bell, and, and get access to our to our insights right away. Uh, MT799 is a crucial instrument. It's, it's just one of the most crucial things to do when it comes to international trade. Everybody needs to know about the MT799, how it's going to be issued, what's the languaging of the instrument, uh, and so on. It's a, primarily this, uh, the MT79 is a messaging system, if I can say that way, uh, that was invented by SWIFT and it allows a bank to confirm the funds are verified, ready, available on the, on the opposing bank. That's the part that's really important. If you are issuing bank guarantees, standby or credit, documentary letters of credit, I just want to use the word banking instruments, a lot of them, you need to have a 799, and everybody insists on that. Um, I got this really fancy looking chart from Trade Finance Global website. I thought how they described the, the way they put the logo and the pictures and colors, I thought it was pretty cool, but it's a really a good way to understand how uh, there's a bank code that needs to be in a 799, there's a country code and a location code. MT stands for message type, 799 is a transaction reference. It usually has a 16 characters fold in that provides the narrative on the description of the transaction. This is the one thing that banks need to know the details of the issuer, the sender, the all the details they need to know. And there's a one slash in it that's really important because if you don't get a one slash and you put two slash, slashes by mistake, probably wouldn't be you, it'll probably be the banker. Uh, the, there'll be a system error and the funds will not go through. And then you're gonna, gonna get 15 phone calls. And when, you, when, when you're issuing a 799, you wanna make sure there's one slash in it. Here's a sample of what an MT799 looks like. It talks about the date that's going to be issued. It's going to talk about from who the SWIFT code, the account number is going to come from, who it's going to go to. It talks about the beneficiary, the beneficiary bank. Uh, it has to have key things in it. Is it a cashback? Is it assignable, transferable? Is it revocable? Is it unconditional uh, like that? Uh, and then it needs to have two banking officers sign off on the document. And the key part is really important to have two signing banking officers uh, involved in it to sign off on it. The pre-advice, uh, the reason that a lot of monetizers are interested in the, in the pre-advice is because a monetizer, like, like a co company like AI, once we know there's a SBLC coming in, as an example, the pre-advice allows us to shop it around and go to the top seven banks, top 10 banks, to see which of these banks will give us the highest LTV. 
So that's what the monitor the monetizer is interested in the pre advice. What you might would be interested in the pre advice is because if you're getting a standby issued to you, uh, you want to know who's going to give you the highest LTV. I have seen many, many, many scenarios where the business owner or the import export consultant didn't know what a SBLC is, didn't know what a documentary letter of credit is, and so on. And so they got the instrument issued. And all of a sudden, they can't monetize and they got stuck with it. And man, that's a place you certainly don't want to be in. You just don't want to be in. This is the one area where I would say Apple is not Apple, it's not Apple, it's not Apple. Like the, there's so many different vari variations of what an Apple is. And so that's why the pre advice, when you get the pre advice, you want to provide the pre advice to a monetizer so that you can line up the um, issuing Mac and receiving Mac to get the highest LTV and to get without any errors now. Now, a 799 is not something banks automatically love to do. There's a cost involved in it. If there's a mistake in it, the, the bank could be held liable on that, on that mistake. And so banks are very cautious when it comes to, generally speaking, most banks are cautious about issuing a 799. So when you want to issue a 79, you want to provide a KYC or CIS. You want to provide um, all the, the pre-advice. You want to provide all the information you need for it to happen. Uh, so that this way, you, any question that receiving bank must, should be having, must be having is some things that you want to think through and make sure you want to give that to the monetizer to have a, uh, to execute the seminar really uh, quickly and effectively. My name is Tamer Zan from AI. one of our core expertise is helping organizations like yours monetize various instruments. If you want to access these, in, uh, like buy a MTN or a out of credit, we can also help you do that at a discounted rate compared to what the market is offering. Uh, so that's one of the things that's core to our business. The second thing that's core to our business is what our name says, line of credit. So we can also use the instrument to provide a recourse to a non-recourse loan as well as assist companies in going to something called private placement programs by providing former FBI, CIA agents to help vet out the private placement programs. Uh, Tamer's out from 9credit.ai and I look forward to the opportunity of working with you.